So the book that you're looking at right here is a book that is about one of the types of storms that has to do with weather. This is Blizzard. Blizzard. And the author is Ellen Dreyer. And it's illustrated, the pictures, by Sadami Higuchi. Now, a good reader is always looking at the pictures. So if you look at the pictures on this front cover, you can see a man. And you can notice some details about him. I want you to just notice some details. And you see a couple of children walking up to him. It looks like they're looking right at him. And I'm looking at his leg, and I'm sure that you can see that something's not quite right. So I'm already starting to make some guesses about what might happen in this story. Good job. Let's start. So here is our cover page, our title again, Blizzard. And you can look over here and see that our vocabulary that we need to know when we're reading this story is Awaken, Cliffs, Mountain, Prize. Hey, there's one of our beginning blends. Rainbow, compound word, rain and bow. Suffer, suffer, and volcano. All right, let's start our story. One snowy morning, two friends went sledding. Watch me, Sam said as he flew down the hill on his belly. Here I come, cried Jason. Soon, the wind began to whistle. The snow fell harder. Look, Sam said, the mountain is disappearing. You're right, Jason said. I can't see the cliffs anymore. Are you thinking about why that's happening? Do you remember what a blizzard is? It took a long time to get home. The wind pushed against them. The snow was thick and heavy. Sam looked at his neighbor's house with the rainbow colored door. All the lights were off in his house. I hope Mr. Harold is okay, he said. And there's the rainbow. That must be Mr. Harold's house. They're really having a hard time getting home. Do you see them pushing through the wind? Just looking at that text feature, you can tell that this is not any ordinary storm. Who's Mr. Harold, Jason asked, once they were inside. Sam's dad gave them bowls of soup and some juice for lunch. He's our neighbor, Sam said. He tells the best stories. Mr. Harold can't walk very well, Sam's dad said. He may suffer when the weather is bad like this. Why don't we bring him some soup when the storm ends, Sam said. Are you remembering the cover of our story? Are you making any guesses of who the cover, the person on the cover is? Look, there's a rainbow. I did read that one. Oh, okay. Let me read this one again in case you missed it. <laughs> Mr. Harold can't walk very well, Sam's dad said. He may suffer when the weather is bad like this. Why don't we bring him some soup? When the storm ends, Sam said. So they're waiting inside. Remember we said during the blizzard, the best place to wait? If you said inside, you're right. They knocked and knocked on Mr. Harold's door. Maybe he's napping, said Sam. If he is, we will awaken him, Jason said. Oh. Here he comes. That looks a lot like the cover, doesn't it? Hello, boys, said Mr. Harold. Come inside. Sam gave him the soup. Thank you, Mr. Harold said. This will warm me up. I bet you the reason they went inside the house was because their dad said that they, he knew him. 
Otherwise, they shouldn't have gone into a stranger's house, right? What do you think? But he said, thank you. This will warm me up. The soup. Mr. Harold told them a story. Once upon a time, he said, there was a volcano. Instead of lava, it had hot soup inside it. Is that nonfiction? Is that facts? Or is that a made-up story? Fiction. Sam and Jason laughed. I think it might be a made-up story. People put their pots outside, Mr. Harold said. When the volcano erupted, they got a tasty prize. That's not true, is it? Jason asked. It can't be, but what a good story, said Sam. What good soup, said Mr. Harold. It looked like they're warm and cozy now. And that's the end of the story. But look at this picture of a real blizzard. Because remember, the story was made up. It was realistic fiction. Could happen, but it was a make-believe story. But this, just looking at this text feature, a picture of a real blizzard, we know that this is nonfiction with facts. Blizzards. Blizzards are severe storms. We knew that. Strong wind blows the snow. It can be dangerous to be outside during a blizzard. The wind can make the temperature extremely cold. The blowing snow makes it difficult to see. The safest place to be during a blizzard is, what do you think? If you sit indoors, you're right. Look at that, you can barely see. And that's the end of the story.